Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Adam. Today I'm going to talk about Rucline, which has really changed the way I just code on a day-to-day -day basis now, especially in large code bases. If you've been following my journey with AI Coding Assistance, you know I'm a big fan of Klein. But after spending really the last week using RuKlein compared to using Klein in these large code bases, I'm just convinced that RuKlein is better. I can't show you all the proprietary code that I've done, but I'll show you some tips or show you some examples. But I've also got some behind the scenes like stories and tips and examples. And I'm hoping that that'll be helpful for you as you, you try out RuKlein. So I first want to talk about RuKlein's growing traction. If you check out Open Router's app showcase, you'll see Klein at number one and Rue Klein at number two. But here's where things are interesting. The gap is closing almost to the point where I almost think Rue Klein might overtake Klein. Uh, because if you look at this month alone, Rue Klein went from a 3.2 times to a 2.25 times difference, meaning that gap is closing quickly. Now for today, in this example, you know, Klein is still a little bit more than 2x, so it is still the number one use of tokens. And overall, the Klein ecosystem, Klein, Rue Klein and Klein, is by far the most used app on token usage, and it's not even close. It's a ridiculous amount. I've been using Rue Klein heavily over the past week. On January 16th alone, I burned through a ton of credits, coding for hours the entire day. Over four days, I used RuClein nonstop, and it's just really been a ton of fun. Now, if you're not familiar with Klein, it's an excellent AI coding assistant, uh, compared with Claude Sonnet, of course. But RuClein takes it to the next level by really introducing a couple chat modes, specifically the Ask and Architect. These modes have completely changed how I work, and the reason for that will become hopefully pretty clear here. So starting with ask mode, this is where RuKlein really just excels for me. Because instead of jumping in directly into coding, I can have a conversation with the AI. For example, I'll say, in this file, I'm running into this issue. Here's what I think the problem might be. And RuKlein helps me narrow it down the problem. And once we have a plan, I simply switch to code mode and I say, great implement that for me. That workflow saves me so much time and tokens. With Klein, direct Klein, I'd often waste tokens on unnecessary code. But RuKlein lets me guide the process, making it way, way more efficient. It's really like having a conversation with a colleague before jumping into an implementation. On the other hand, I do like the architect mode I didn't use it as much because of the nature of the work I've been doing over the last four days, but I did design a new data ingestion pipeline where it actually helped me brainstorm the high level architecture. And once I had a solid plan, I was able to switch to code mode to start implementing it. And it was really like having just a peer programmer there who could help me kind of like question architectural decisions I was making. Of course I had to change it. It wasn't perfect. But it is really nice to have that feature where it just takes on this persona of how it's supposed to help you. Now, one of the most interesting things I worked on that just kind of blew my mind, I was working on a pretty complex feature. Uh, we have a factory pattern that really loads these individual classes. I gave RuKlein this context. I said, analyze this file and this file come up with a plan. Once we, once we have the plan, I want you to implement a new, uh, a new class that we can tie into the factory pattern. And once it got through all that, I switched to code mode and I said, implement it. And what would have taken me probably a couple hours to kind of like go through and build all that stuff out and test it. I had it up and running in an hour and it was really good. Again, I had to guide it a lot more. Um, and I knew the code base, so I was able to tell it where to go look. But still, it, it was just a great experience for me. Another area where RuKlein excels, compared with Claude, of course, is writing tests. I can point it to a piece of code and say, write me some tests for this. And then I'll say, like, what about testing this? What about testing that? 
And it really does speed up like one of the honestly most tedious parts of programming. It it made and it happens all within your IDE. So you could just have the test appear that you don't have to like translate anything over. You could run it and test it right there. And it really is fantastic uh, to work with, especially even with like UI work. I had a empty state for a UI component. And after a back, uh, bit of back and forth in ask mode, I had directed it to say, hey, go look at this file over here and look how we do the empty state there and put together a plan for how you would implement that in this file. And it nailed it. I had to tweak a little bit of styling, but honestly, in a matter of minutes, I had create this, created this entire empty state that looked great. Now credits, it, it can be expensive, right, to run this. But if you think about the productivity gains I'm getting, uh, it's so worth it. So in Open Router, I have loaded about $25 in about four days ago, and I've burned about $15 of that. But I will say I learned something after day one that just is very obvious when you think about it. But it's basically you need to keep your task as small as possible. And that is really the strength of RuClimb. You use ask mode to save tokens, and you don't use code until you have that plan put together. By day four, I was using a quarter of the tokens I used on day one. For example, there were some days or some activity uh, logs that I had that were like 150,000 tokens. That is ridiculous. Now I'm averaging about 15,000 to 20,000 per activity billing that I see. And it actually has just worked so much better for me because I'm able to not just rush into coding and get put in this infinite loop of like correcting things. I'm able to build a plan, talk through needs to change. If something goes wrong, I undo that and I start a new task and kind of re-give it the context it needs. Now comparing group client to client, the difference really is like root client is client, but maybe on steroids. Uh, and it's mostly because I just love the way I can work with RootKlein. You know, my mind, I like to like plan things out before I start writing code, where client is really like a jump in and start coding type um, AI system. But RootKlein, you can put it in a mode where it's like, hey, let's talk through this. It's not write code yet, let's figure it out. But really they are both incredibly powerful. I do think RootKlein in a large production database just makes way more sense. It it serves the purpose of everything that I would want it to do. Where Klein, on the other hand, uh, because it's so like willing to go write code, uh, it just, and the code base is so large, it loses a lot of context in what it's trying to do. Now, AI is not perfect in general, and there are times that you have to terminate the task and start over and begin again. I also found because I know the code base really well, and I was in multiple different code bases because I know all of them very well, I could direct it to like what files to reference. It didn't need to know and go figure that out itself. If you were a coder that didn't know that much about the code base, you might have a harder time getting like RuClimb to actually be efficient for you. But in a large database or a large code base where you have a good understanding of how things work or you know where things are located and you can guide it, it just takes so much of the tedious work out of it. It honestly has me excited to code. Like, I feel like I have my own personal coding team between RuClimb, uh, GitHub Copilot, Claude, and DeepSeek. It's just, it, it makes me feel like superpowered because I'm able to be working on one thing in my own code, in one code base. I'm able to have RuClimb uh, working through something else. I'm able to have DeepSeek kind of doing some analysis for me. And I'm able to just process more data than I've been able to do ever before. So anyway, what do you guys think? Have you tried through Klein? How does it compare to Klein for you? If you have, I'd love to know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I always appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.